Hey guys, thanks for joining me on your Sun in Taurus series videos. These are supposed to resonate from April 21st through May the 21st. The element in quality is earth and fixed. The positive words for the Sun in Taurus is patient, grounded, loyal, hardworking, punctual, and efficient. We're going to try to stay positive, but there is negative aspects in the son of Taurus, and that could be stubborn, possessiveness, and rigid. We're going to go more in depth on each sign, so come back and join me. I hope you guys enjoy your message. Hello, Sagittarius. Thank you for joining me on Angel Works 3110. My name is Gladys. This is your sun season in Taurus message. This is for the whole time of the sun season in Taurus. I'm going to go ahead and start your message. The next set of videos that I'll be doing is the sun season in Gemini, and that starts May the 21st. Hopefully, I'll have these videos downloaded by then, and you guys can see this before the tour season ends. Okay, so what is starting off in the center of your message is having to make a decision of taking action making a choice, deciding on going somewhere. What's crossing you is feeling stuck and trapped that you can't make a decision right now. It could be because of this quarantine situation going on that's causing a halt in the situation. What is in your head? You're wanting to share, be a humanitarian. You're in your head about choices that you've made in the past. What is in your foundation? An offer being given either by you or someone else. What is going on in the past? Your finances. Wealth. An inheritance. In your future. Being upset and sad and in your head. And being insecure and feeling just torn about something. The way people are seeing you is being very emotional. Very loving and caring and loyal. The way you're seeing this other person, conflicted, argumentative, conflict going on. This could be vice versa. You could see them as a loving, loyal, calm, emotional type person. And they're seeing you fiery and confused, conflicted, causing disarray. Something going on here. With the hopes and fears, we have the chariot and the three of pentacles. And in your outcome, you have the Three of Cups, ooh, the King of Swords, ah, and the Six of Wands. We are going to be clarifying this message. As I tell you the message, I do tell you what I see, here and feel. And I use these cards as a tool, as a little bonus thing. So I hope you guys enjoy this message. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share my videos, and leave me them comments below to let me know if this is resonating with you guys. I really appreciate it. Okay, so right now, a lot of you are in quarantine. That's why you're feeling trapped, and you can't make a decision to travel, to go around the world, to offer something to someone. Okay, so what's the Two of Wands about? What clarification do we need about the Two of Wands, about making a decision? Here we got the Eight of Swords again. We will be clarifying this at the end of the message with these cards again. So, you are feeling stuck and trapped about. About the Eight of Swords. What? It's like you're in quarantine. Like you're, you can't do anything about something right now. What can, what is the messages that we have? Speaking your truth about traveling, about going in and out, about wanting to see someone, meeting someone somehow, trying to maneuver around this quarantine time or whatever this is that's making you feel stuck and trapped, not being able to go anywhere right now. In your past, you had someone around you that wasn't truthful or that wasn't honest and loyal, someone that was out to get you I'm not getting a good vibe they were maybe taking your finances you may have gotten an inheritance in the past 
someone could be looking to see if you are wealthy in the past. Or you could be seeing if someone's wealthy, if they're after you for your money, or if you're after them. You could have been worried in the past about finances. Right now, you're upset and sad and having anxiety over the situation. In the past, what is this thing about the finances? Communication. There could be some trouble with finances in the past. There's communication about it. What's going on here with the out, the future? Here with the Nine of Swords. Having anxiety and feeling like you just are over it and you just want it to end. There's something that's causing you to be upset. It could be because you can't see the person that you want to see. You cannot travel to see them, but they're coming to visit you or you're going to be visiting them. You're upset and torn about a child, not being able to see a child. You're not near your children at this time. You could have had a miscarriage, and I apologize if this is you. You're upset about the father of this baby or who the father is or the mother is. Now, up here in your head, you're giving away finances. You're a humanitarian. You could be handing out money for child support or for travel. The clarification we got for that was the Nine of Pentacles. You are being seen as someone that has it all going on. But internally, you could be hollow inside. You could be feeling like people are just taking, you, taking advantage of you. You're seeking for someone that will not just take from you. You want somebody that will give to you too. You're tired of people that just take, take, take. And you want somebody that's going to offer something as well. In your foundation, you don't care to offer finances to help out to be a humanitarian. What is the other message that we have for this pentacles here? What is going on with the pentacles? You could be the only one that's handing out money for your finances, for your, like, stability. There is stability here, a lot of stability. You could be the only one paying out to keep your home the way it is. You're, you're paying the bills. This is why you're upset, because you're having to give money to your child still. And you're just really upset and torn about this. And you don't know what to do. You're in a dilemma. What is this handout for? Is there somebody got their handout? Or are you helping someone? When it comes to your foundation. What is the deal here with the foundation here? With this pentacle being handed out. Or I feel like there could be some finances that come about that you wouldn't expect thing and it causes you to hand out some more money than what you were expecting you're paying more bills than what you were expecting yep you're going to cut away how you just hand out money you're going to start being more frugal with your money you're trying to cut to the truth of the matter of where your money is being spent you're being more frugal about it the way people are seeing you are, is very loving and emotional, or this could be you seeing this other person that way. What is the clarification that we have for this loving person, this person filled with emotion that has been in a lot of deep emotional relationships with someone or with multiple people? The Ten of Cups. This is your wish come true. Somebody's coming in and offering you a wish come true of happiness, of fulfilling emotion. You're cutting away people that just want you for your money. And you're looking for somebody that can fill that tenth cup and make you happy. You're you're probably filling your own cup. Now what is going on with this conflict then? The way you're seeing this other person or the way that they're seeing you. What is this conflict going on? The conflict is a mother. There's a mother in the way. A mother's call, causing conflict. There's conflict about being very loving and loyal. 
You could be having disputes with a mother figure, someone that is a mother. There could be emotional conflict with someone that is very loving and loyal, that has children about somebody else. Your hopes and fears in this situation. We have, you're hoping that you're going to be victorious in the situation when it comes to a work ethic with somebody working really hard to achieve something. Your fear is that this is not real, that that it's a facade, that this is not victorious, that they're not working as hard as it seems. What is the clarifications for this? I need one more clarification for the three of coins. The three of coins, I need one more clarification. Thank you. Okay, so the big victory card here the chariot somebody taking charge being a role model a leader and moving forward and making things happen we got the eight of pentacles somebody is a hard worker here's somebody working hard and they're being noticed and here they are they're not even paying attention that somebody's being no noticing them because they're being very methodical and detailed oriented and focusing really hard to achieve a goal to be achieved now here's the three of pentacles working hard and being detailed but noticing that people are noticing you and you're feeling stuck and trapped at a workplace. Your fear is that you're going to lose your finances and that you're not going to have your finances like you used to. You were working and you lost your job or you're losing your job. Your fear is that you're going to lose your job. You're not going to be victorious and make more money the way you used to. So that's why you're being more frugal and you're just being leery of who you give your money to. In your near future, there is very happiness and glee. It's time to celebrate. There's a loving emotion. Time to celebrate here soon with somebody that is a king of wands, one that has air in their chart, that is very methodical, that you communicate with clearly and that is very happy and joyous you guys make each other laugh you guys are very getting very emotional with each other you're going to be victorious somebody is noticing you or you're noticing this person it's like there's somebody around you that is protecting you and making sure that that you are being protected and that you're not being taken advantage of what is the clarification for the queen of Or not the queen. The three of cups. Clarification for the three cups, please. Clarification for the three cups. Okay. What is the clarification for the knight of swords? It's in the floor. Okay. And the clarification for the... Look, as I'm shuffling, that pops out. Six of... Clarification for the six of wands. I've got two for you. Okay. So your clarification is, oh, the Queen of Pentacles, stability, you're stable, you're looking for stability, you're looking for someone grounded that is an entrepreneur, that is business-like, you are a business person, you're celebrating all the stuff you have achieved. When it comes to this air sign, I just feel like this person may be slow at doing something to achieving goals but there's time to celebrate this person does take charge but they're slow at it this person knows how to communicate clearly and they're very spiritual five of the hierophant basically you're dealing with somebody that is very spiritual and that communicates clearly your victory in this situation aw Here's the King of Swords coming back and the Six of Swords. So you're dealing with somebody that communicates clearly and that is looking for someone that is stable, that wants to go into the future with them in a calmer state, calmer way of being, calmer life. I'm going to pick one of these. Well, actually, you guys got three, so I'm picking three for you guys. You got the Eight of clovers and that would be communication data wands 
the nine of swords again being upset in your head communication about being upset about some kind of communication that went on the seven of cups so uh, it feels like you're upset about some confusion about a com communication that went on let's see what the book says what these meanings are in this book The Eight of Clubs says repetition, swift movement to create stability. So there can be stability, okay? The Nine of, uh, nine of Spades. A struggle to make sense of events. Like I said, feeling confused. And the Seven of Hearts. Secrets, imagination, new feelings. You feel like somebody's keeping secrets from you, not telling you the truth, and it's causing you to be in your head about it. I hope you guys enjoy this. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and always be safe. Wash your hands, and remember to treat others the way you would like to be treated. God bless.